Good day everyone. So today we are going to the National Museum in Bohol, which is located at Poblacion Tagbilaran City, Bohol. This museum was the former provincial capital of Bohol that in recent years since the earthquake happened in October 15, 2013. It was restored and converted for the purpose and was established by the provincial government of Bohol and the National Museum of the Philippines. Okay, so before we enter, no smoking, food and drink is not allowed, touching of museum objects, flash photography, commercial photography, videography, tripods, large bags and carriers, wrap packages, umbrellas, pens, and art materials. All persons and items are subject to security inspection. So these guidelines is to help protect the national collections and ensure a safe and enjoyable experience for all. So that's it, their uh, visitor guidelines. This is the National Museum and the other picture is the Escuela Niña. This is um, called Escuela Niña and originally constructed as a primary school for girls in the latter half of the 19th century. This building was briefly used as a military barracks at the onset of the American period but was reverted to a school building under the helm of the Thomasites. And the Escuela Niña was converted into a public library um, after it was damaged during World War II. The provincial government of Bohol donated the building to the National Museum of the Philippines and this building was the home of the National Museum of Bohol until 2018. And the next slide it shows the different churches in Bohol. So the first one is called La Purisima Concepcion de la Virgen Maria Paris Church which is located at Baclayan, Bohol. This is also part of the National Cultural Treasure. And the next one is the San Agustin Paris Church an important cultural property which is located at Panglao, Bohol. Next one is the Santa Cruz Paris Church, one of the national cultural treasure and it is located at Maripuhok, Bohol. Next is the Castillo de San Vicente or called as Punta Cruz Watchtower which is located at Maripuhok, Bohol. And lastly, uh, the Castillo del Corazon de Jesus, Dawis Watchtower, also part of the national cultural treasure that is located at now Dawis, Bohol. We went to the other side and as we entered, we saw the restoration and reconstruction of the churches that was damaged during the earthquake last 2013. So on the other side, we were the seven churches that was damaged during the earthquake. And after the earthquake, um, they also took the uh, recovered items. So it shows here the communion real a metal recovered from Loon Church ruins or at the Nuestra Señora de la Luz Paris Church at Loon Bohol. And we also see here the image of an angel made from polychrome wood recovered from Maribuhok Church ruins at Santa Cruz Paris Church located in Maribuhok Bohol. And the other one is the Machuca tiles, a cement recovered from Loon Church ruins. Once we're at the second floor, we saw the Megalodon tooth, which was um, founded at Handig Maribohol. We also have here the Ligodium Serkinatum. I don't know what was the proper pronunciation, but in the local name here, known as Nito, or Agsam, or Nitong Puti, or Nitua. The other one known as Nipa or the local name is Nipa, Lasa, Pawid, or Sasa. So these are used to make wine and vinegar and leaves are commonly used for... We also have here the picture of the tarsier, the insects, and the monkey which is the Philippine long-tailed macaque. We also have here the formation of the chocolate chaos. We also have here shown uh, on the video the formation of Bohol Island. On the other side are the works or sculpture of Napoleon Villas of Hueva. Napoleon was born in North 26, 1930 and died on February 16, 2018. Napoleon was known as the father of modern Philippine sculpture through Proclamation Number no. 1539. He was proclaimed as uh, the national artist for 
Master Sculpture in 1976 when he was 46 as the youngest recipient of the award today. So it shows here the bust or the self-portrait, 1990, made of bronze. And the next one is the bust of a woman in Filipiniana, made of fiberglass. Next is bust of Diwata. It was made last 2003, made of fiberglass. The next one is a horse, made also of fiberglass. And then the next one is the bust of Dr. Rosa Rizal in 1998, made of bronze. Detail of rice planters, which is also made of fiberglass. A bust of General Arturo Murili, made of fiberglass. A bust of national artist Nick Joaquin, made of plaster of Paris. Vicente Maranzala was made last 1998, made of fiberglass. And we also have here the family group, made of fiberglass. A soft portrait, made of wood. On, the, on 2005, Baby Duero, made of wood, 1980. Also, have Rast of the Head of Transfiguration, made of fiberglass, 1973. Sacred Heart of Jesus, made of bronze, in 1957. The um, crucifix, made of wood and fiberglass. Mother and Child, made of wood, in 1973. We also have here. Santo made of wood during the Spanish colonial period. Pair of familia, uh, polycom wood made. We also have here the Nuestra Señora de la Luz Parish Church, the San Jose de Obrero Cathedral, the Pudida Tagbilaran. We also have here the coral stone recovered from Loon Church ruins, the tile fragments recovered from Cortes Church. The core bell made of wood recovered from the nail church. Square nails made of metal recovered from the churches of Lobok and Maribupo. The chalice case in candelabra are made of polychrome wood. We also have here the image of Saint Michael the Archangel, same uh, made of polychrome wood during the 20th century. We also have here the icon of the Holy Trinity. And the image of San Vicente Ferrer, and also made of. Uh, uh, by the way, this is painted on wood on the early 20th century. And our next destination, we decided to visit the Blood Compact site, located at located at JP E K and Ting Street, Tagbilaran City. So, Blood Compact was an ancient ritual in the Philippines intended to seal a friendship or treaty. Or to validate an agreement the contracting parties would cut their hands and pour their blood into a cup filled with liquid such as wine and drink the mixture the sandugo or the blood compact which was performed on bohol in 1565 was a blood compact between the spanish and a nati native island chieftain its historical importance lies in its consideration as the first treaty of friendship between the Spaniards and native Filipinos.